answer to that question is that dilemma uh, will always be there in, in, in different shapes and forms. Um, with the pandemics and the crisis that we have in the last few months, um, in some respects uh, and in some aspects of, uh, of, um, of corporate responsibility, of course, there are uh, those areas where I think it's more critical than others. For example, in the case of um, companies um, having a serious uh, business uh, concerns, especially in the light of uh, decreasing demand and the inability to provide uh, the services that are required. Uh, this will definitely involve the issue of, uh, of uh, what you call um, overheads. And uh, normally about 70% of such uh, uh, budgets normally come from employee salaries and, and, and wages. Obviously, this will be a, a burden, uh, especially when there is no inflow of revenue coming in. So if we can't help um, by expecting companies to have a dilemma on how they are going to maintain those um, employees who may not be able to contribute to this revenue flow. Uh, if it is supposed to be for a short period, of course, the company would have reserves to overcome this. But fortunately, in the case of Malaysia, uh, the government, I'm sure in other countries too, the governments have come in with some kind of subsidy plan uh, to uh, ensure that those who are in, an, in employ, employment uh, will not be retrenched, uh, at least during the period where the government provides some kind of subsidies. Uh, it may not be the entire salary, but at least up to a certain, up to a certain amount, uh, and and therefore it it, it lessens the the uh, pressure and the dilemma that comes with it uh, for the company to retrench or lay off some of these uh, employees. However, these uh, subsidies are not uh, what we call. Um, uh, over a long period of time. It is maybe during the as far as Malaysia is concerned, it was extended until September. Uh, then I think they extended again until uh, December. But after that, in 2021, things you know will be back to normal, and uh, the dilemma will will will, will I would say uh, reappear, especially companies which are already weak, even in 2019 and made worse with the pandemic. And that includes, you know, the uh, tourism industry, the hotel industry, even the restaurant business as well, where um, customers fear because they may be in contact with people and, and places where uh, they may have to go for a quarantine. Like for example, recently, um, a lot of UK uh, citizens who went to Spain, now they have to be quarantined for two weeks after they come come back. So a lot of uncertainties that will prevent. So it will take a while before these kind of industries can recover. And in the meantime, I'm not so sure that um, the choice will be to maintain and, 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 and keep on losing. Uh, and therefore, I think uh, it may not be uh, unethical for them to consider options because uh, this is a matter of survival. And if they are not able to survive, especially the small one with lower lower amount of reserves, it will be very difficult for them to even continue with business. So business continuity is another issue. And so I would think that um, a responsible organization or ethical leader would want to consider how to plan for that kind of separation in such a way that it will be win-win rather than say that, you know, we can't afford, therefore we have to retrench. But how to do that process in a more ethical way, through proper communication, through uh, assistance, you know, in, 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 in doing some kind of uh, uh, quick uh, skills training, up, up skill training, so that they can find employment elsewhere. And also other things, you know, uh, that's where 
communication is important, you know. Compassion comes with communication. Talk to them and find out what are their unique, specific issues and, and, and do something to help reduce the, the pain of separation. I think this is going to happen and some of the employees also anticipate this. But I am sure that the time given during this uh, subsidy period is adequate for, for a lot of employees to, if they are proactive, to, to know what they need to do um, in order to prepare themselves for eventualities should, them, should they happen. So I think that, that is what ethical leadership should be. Um, you know, you, you, you have to prioritize and balance rather than saying that it's one or the other. Quite a lot of employers who, who, especially those who are at the age where uh, they are about to retire, these are going to be those um, uh, age group where it may be difficult to find alternative jobs, you know, because um, priorities are more for the younger ones to be employed. As you know that, you know, unemployment now is increasing. Even in Malaysia now, even though we're not that bad, but, you know, when you talk about unemployed graduates, it's a very serious political concern. So I think uh, for those who are at that age where um, they are closer to retirement, they, they may have serious problem in finding alternative jobs because uh, industries that are prepared to take uh, new graduates or new employees, you know, are not prepared to pay high salaries in this situation now. Unless, you know, they, they have got some very important core skills that can be uh, used uh, in other industries. And this is where IT knowledge is also important, but I think that's necessary, however, it's not sufficient. I mean, knowing the business is also important. So the concerns that uh, employees will have will be uh, mainly em employability. Uh, but in the meantime, the concerns will be more in terms of, you know, um, the health and safety. You know, that's, that's equally important. Uh, but for those who are who are um, uh, in the essential services, I think the, the concern is more health and safety rather than employment. Because, you know, uh, they are needed. Uh, they have to deal with customers and they have to be very careful about, you know, how they, um, they protect themselves. And this is where good policies, good policies coming from the organization, the employer, the communication, understanding their situation, uh, rather than expecting them to just come and, and, and do the job, but to take care of how they are going to get the job done in a way that protects themselves. I think that is a sign of, 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 of good ethical leadership. Good policies, uh, good support system. Um, this is um, uh, necessary for, for employers. They expect em the employers to be concerned about how they deliver their job, even though they are, they are going to be employed because you know, they are in the essential services. So it's not an issue of unemployment, but the issue is their safety. You know? So uh, the other one is uh, for other industries which are requiring higher order skills, I think the concern of the employees would be, how do I, um, stay at home, work from home, and yet be equally productive, and yet be able to contribute. I think this is where uh, employ employers need to provide collaborative tools. Collaborative tools. Uh, um, of course, networking, communication, but I think collaborative tools are the most important. That will enhance productivity. So if during the work from home, they can enhance their productivity by adopting um, um, uh, advanced um, and simple to use uh, collaborative tools, I think they will, they will, they will feel very um, less concerned about being uh, retrenched or what, because they are still contributing to productivity of the organization. So it's a question of how to network how to the IT department and the HR can play important roles in such a way that uh, employees feel that, you know, there is no difference whether they are at the workplace or they are working from home, but they are still contributing to a collaborative uh, product productivity. 
which means to say that you know they they are enhancing the productivity of the organization by working from home so their concern will be more how technology can be leveraged during this period so that after this they will become more productive or at least they will be they will not be less productive that will be another concern i think